If you've ever wondered what happened to the paper and card that you recycle at home and at school, we're going to show you how it's recycled here in the UK. We still make a lot of paper in the UK, things like newspaper, printing and writings, tissue paper, hygiene papers and packaging papers. We still use some virgin fibre but most of it in the UK is actually recovered paper from what you recycle. Let's have a look at what happens in one mill where they're taking recycled paper and card and making it into new packaging. Well, the paper making process as it happens here is a 100% is a recycled process um, and it all starts um, when paper is used and, and it is discarded. In this yard there is about 14,000 tonnes of, uh, of material and that's, that's enough to keep us going for around three, three weeks so we'd clear all of this lot out in, in that, that time period. We take our recovered fibre and we put it on a conveyor into the plant itself. So as the conveyor moves, it will drop the recovered fibre into the pulper. And what you see in there is a big vat with a mixer at the bottom, circulating and, and agitating and stirring and mixing that fibre up until you get fibre separation into the water. 4% fibre in water and it looks a lot thicker than that within the pulper. We now have to take all the plastic and all the other materials from the pulper. Now the pulper is a continuous process and this whole process is happening at roughly 30, 30 tonnes an hour. Okay so we've now got this stock which is 4% fibre, 96% water, had a lot of the contaminants removed the next thing we're going to do with it is add even more water to it because to make paper it's vital to have um, just 1% fibre maximum in, in water. And then we have to clean it further because we still have small bits of plastic and we still have sand and grit in there. And now we're ready to start making paper. We pump that material onto a fast moving wire and we are putting a jet of it onto the paper machine and what's important now is to form a sheet of paper and in order to do that the fibres have to settle through the water and form a mat which is going to become our sheet but as those fibres are settling water is draining through it and we allow as much water to drain as possible but only so much will happen that way we then have to start applying vacuum to suck that water out of the sheet and start the drying process. It's very difficult to get the water to drain through that mat. So what we have to do is suck the water out upwards through the sheet. We're now going to take the sheet of paper and pass it into the press section of the machine. Now a press is simply two rolls which are being forced together. And as these rolls are being forced together, the water is passing from the sheet of paper into the press felts and away from the sheet. So we're now drying the sheet out. So now the sheet of paper comes out of the press section at 53% fibre. And we have to take out all that moisture until we make a sheet of paper that's got roughly 8% moisture. And the only way of getting that water out of there is by using heat energy. So we have to pass the sheet of paper into the drying section. Now in the drying section we use steam as our main source of heat and we have lots of cylinders which you can see down the paper machine. We have 54 in total and the sheet of paper is passed up and over, up and over these cylinders as it goes down through the drying section and we pass hot dry air through these dryers and so the moisture is evaporated out of the sheet into the air and is then pumped out of the dryers and out of the paper machine itself. The problem when you recycle paper is that the fibres get shorter and shorter and shorter as you recycle it more and more times. 
So it becomes even more difficult to actually form a strong sheet of paper. So what we do is we use starch to bind the paper, bind the fibres together and to give added strength. Now, starch is another natural product which we take and it could be either wheat starch or potato starch, it could be tapioca starch, a whole, whole series of, of different materials are available to us. Our sheet of paper comes out of the paper machine and we roll it up into large jumbos of paper. We will take that jumbo of paper out of the paper machine and we will put it into a slitting machine. And on that machine we will cut it down into our customer reels of paper. And that reel of paper then goes through a conveying system and then it is taken down into our warehouse. So our paper goes off to our customers and they use it to make a corrugated board which then gets made into a box which can then be used to transport food or washing machines or tumble dryers or, or materials like that. Once the packaging has been used it will be taken, it will be flattened and then it will be transported back to us here at the mill where we will recycle it back into our process again. So round and round the loop this material will go many times. <laughs>